So the purpose of our video today is to explain the differences between the classic range of Red Arc BCDC chargers and the more recently released Alpha range of Red Arc chargers. Now it's worth mentioning that the Alpha range of chargers do everything that the classic did and a little bit more. So in this video, we're going to focus on five new features found in the Alpha and help you decide whether it's worth paying the extra money for these features or if the classic is a good fit for your application. So the five new features that we're going to focus on today are firstly, jump start capabilities, reverse solar charge to the main battery once the auxiliary is full, app control through red vision, we can monitor current and voltage and other parameters, a temperature sensor to better look after your battery and just an overall better heat sink in the unit itself. So let's talk about that first one, jump start capabilities. Now this isn't a traditional jump start system where a solenoid links the two batteries together and both batteries provide power to the starter motor to start the car. What the Alpha allows us to do is to act as a reverse charger. So let's picture this scenario for a moment. We've been out camping, perhaps we've had our headlights on, maybe the doors have been open, the interior lights have run the car battery flat. The Alpha, through the Red Vision app, or you can also do this manually, which is explained in the manual and done by the manual operation button on the front here. You can turn this alpha charger into a reverse charger. So any power that's left in the auxiliary battery, the alpha charger can take that and put it into the main battery. Now this is activated for about a 15 minute period. Over that time, you'll have enough power put back into the main battery to start the car and get going. So it's that extra peace of mind that you won't get stuck out in the middle of nowhere. You can jumpstart yourself off the auxiliary battery nice and easily. Now the second feature in the new Alpha is reverse solar charging. Now on the classic range of chargers, they have an inbuilt solar regulator and it's a great regulator. If you have a fixed solar panel on the roof or a solar blanket, you can plug it into this unit and it will act as the solar regulator and really look after your auxiliary battery. The Alpha does that as well, but once your auxiliary battery is at full charge, you can turn it on to charge the main battery. So let's say you're on a sunny day, your auxiliary battery's got to full charge at midday or two in the afternoon, and your soul is really doing nothing at that point because the Red Arc's turned it off to protect your auxiliary battery. Well, if your main battery can accept charge at that point, the Alpha is able to then direct that solar power into the main battery and keep that maintained as well. And this is a great feature too if you're going away for a long period of time and your car's just sitting at home, the Alpha is able to maintain both the batteries. The third feature is app control. Through the Red Arc Configurator app and the Red Arc Red Vision app, we're able to set up and monitor the new Alpha charger. In the Configurator app, we're able to set up our unit when we first get it, select the type of battery that we're using. This can easily be changed too throughout the app. So if you start with a lead acid battery and you decide to upgrade to lithium, it's as simple as logging into the app and changing the battery type. On the old classic charger, it was a bit more involved. We had to tamper with little wires and make changes there. But this is in your hand, on your phone, on the fly, you can make changes. And once the unit is set up within the Configurator app, using the Red Vision app allows you to monitor the system while you're out camping. You can see your auxiliary battery voltage, you can see the current coming in from the charger while you're traveling or while you're parked up through the solar. Now it'll give you a graph. You can see how much solar has been produced in that hour or in that day. And because it communicates to the Red Vision app, this app is used for much of Red Arc's products. So if you're thinking about upgrading to more gear later, the Red Arc Alpha will allow you to communicate with other Red Arc gear throughout the app. So it's a good feature for future proofing your setup and allowing for additional upgrades later. Now the fourth feature is that the new unit comes with a temperature probe like this, connected to the charger and then on the other end, a lug that gets connected to the negative terminal of our auxiliary battery. Now this allows the alpha charger to monitor the temperature of the auxiliary battery. Now this allows it to look after our auxiliary battery a little bit better. So if it's in an engine bay and it gets super hot, it can derate the current to look after the battery. Or let's say we're up in the snow fields and it's in minus temperatures. Charging a lithium battery is detrimental at that point in time. So the Red Arc Alpha can monitor that, see that we're in negative temperatures and not charge the lithium battery at all. So this is a great new feature to look after our batteries a little bit more. 
Now the final feature that we want to talk about is just the heatsink of the new charger. Now, this is not so much an issue in the smaller 25 amp chargers like we have here, but this is a 50 amp charger in front of us. And the new heatsink allows it to dissipate heat much better than the older models, where they rely on a good amount of airflow to keep the charger cool and not derate the output current. The new heatsink allows it to get rid of its heat a lot better and means it will keep charging at its peak current for longer periods in those hot temperatures. So that is another key feature worth mentioning of the new Alpha charger. So which of these Redarc BCDC chargers best suits your application? Well, the classic charger is a tried and true unit. It's popular, it's been on the market and it's reliable. It does your solar controller, your isolator and your DC-DC charging all in one unit. It's a set and forget unit. So if you purchase a kit like this Ford Ranger kit in front of us, and you tell us on the website which battery type you're using, we pre-program it into that kit, ship it out, it's ready for install, and then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to monitor it, it just works in the background, and it works well. Now the Alpha, on the other hand, does all of those things that the Classic does, and some more features as we've just looked at. So if you're someone who likes to monitor through the app, all of the parameters and settings, see how much current it charges coming in from your solar, from your car, and you want to be able to make changes on the fly, then the Alpha is a great charger with extra features. The jump start feature gives you peace of mind that you're not going to get stuck anywhere, that you can get yourself going even if you accidentally flatten the main battery. Reverse solar really makes sure that both batteries are looked after. So if some of these key features that we've discussed today really stand out to you and maybe it's worth spending the extra on this new Alpha charger. Hopefully this video has helped you decide which of these chargers best suits your needs.